Hey everybody, it's Tony with Big T Bariatric and I'm back at you today with another video. It is Sunday, December 11th. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. What I want to do today is react to another My 600 Pound Life compilation. And this is from Plot Twist. And it's the crazy meals consumed on TLC's My 600 Pound Life Volume 8. And so let's get started right now. I'm gonna just go ahead and start eating right like I should be doing. But then I wake up and I give in right away. My 600 pound life features no short of, of insane recipes. And over the past few months, we here at Plot Twist have been going over some of the best and worst meals that we've seen on the show. I get one of those. No. Well, with 10 seasons to choose from, we found even more wild meals in unjustifiably large portions. So subscribe if you haven't already. Can for I have more some? Great no. Content you like can't have this. any. So I only oh, get my. the limited things, really. The main one being to cook. That's one of my passions. Julian Valentine weighs over 800 pounds at the start of filming, and it's easy to Ooh, see why. 800 the man pounds. is a self-professed master chef, and cooking is one of the few joys he has in life. I would have to say that my favorite meal that Julian cooks for me, salmon when he cooks it in butter, and then he makes asparagus next to it and Brussels sprouts. Interestingly enough, his wife, Irma, describes her favorite meal he makes, and it actually sounds pretty healthy. If he made meals like that, he might might not have ever reached his current weight. He's very good at making meals that taste good. The dynamic right now is that bacon he on makes plate. whatever he wants and Pancake. that's what we eat. Unfortunately, it's that looks clear really that good, he does though. not make the healthy food all that often. And Irma even says that they basically eat whatever Julian feels like cooking on that particular day. I wait until around 12 o'clock to eat lunch, and then I'll snack until dinner. But I feel the best meal of each day is usually the first. The food itself that Julian makes constitutes a typical breakfast. You know, pancakes, bacon, eggs, that sort of thing. But look at how much food he's actually making. And this is just how he starts his day. Julian also says that he has lunch at noon and keeps snacking from then until dinner. Everything is such a struggle. It's just painful to move around right now. As is the case with most stars of this show, even the most basic of daily tasks can lead to extreme pain and exhaustion, and David is no exception. My back hurts, my knees hurt, my feet hurt. The only thing that keeps me going is all the food we just bought. While mm. out and about, you can see how the simple exercise of walking around has completely wore him out, and he needs to make multiple stops throughout the trip. After being pushed, I can't limits, even go grocery shopping right now. I'm immediate. surprised by what right, some of I these get guys can do. Two number fours, and let me get one more double bacon western cheeseburger. Tired and wow. in pain, David says that he needs something to help rejuvenate himself, and makes a pit stop at the fast food joint on the way home. <sighs> I've been that out of breath before. It's not fun. I'm scared that David is doing the smallest doesn't little thing. Internal motivation. At this point, Robin comes over and brings a whole smorgasbord of food and drinks just for David. It's typical fast food fare, and it's just the insane portioning that earns it a spot on this list. Food is more than just a pleasure. It's my reason for existing. I can't wait for the first bite of something that will make me forget about all the misery of my life. How many eggs is too many eggs? Trick question, there's no such thing, at least to Dolly. While cooking breakfast for her and her best friend, Dolly uses 15 eggs just for the two of them. Oh my god, Dolly. 15 I eggs. I can't believe she had to have it. My mom tries to make me get more fruits and vegetables and meats. Later, while at the supermarket with Shanine and her mother, her mother is clearly dismayed at the food she's buying. Dolly's food addiction is sad, if you really think about it. It is Because sad. that's been like a best friend most of her life. While her mother is frustrated, she admits that her daughter is battling addiction and that it's truly heartbreaking when you stop and think about it. At this point in my life, I know that I am uh, killing myself with food. And it's rough when you get I to that, that point. It's you know you're dying. My worst fear you know is you don't got that much I die and my daughter lives but you on can't and stop. she wonders what life could have been like with mom. I will not let that happen to my daughter. Later on, Dolly herself admits that she has a problem, and we all know that the first step to beating addiction is admitting that you have a problem. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. 
What would you like for breakfast, Don? Ryan, age 31, has been living with his mother Tammy and her boyfriend Leroy for the past few years. Every morning, Tammy makes Ryan breakfast, and this morning, Ryan wants a lot to eat. A couple breakfast burritos, some sausage and bacon, and a bagel. Sausage and bacon? Yeah. Bagel, cream cheese? Please. This is a lot of food, but the reason this clip is on the list isn't because of the food itself, but rather the way Ryan describes the process of eating. When I eat, I never want to stop, and I never feel like I have to. Because I've never really felt like I was full. By the time that I finish the meal that I'm eating, I'm already thinking about the next meal. Like when I'm eating breakfast, I ask my mom what we're having for lunch. Later on, That's Tammy an brings enabler. Home if you can't get up and make it yourself, and someone Ryan else is bringing you that the food. The family. But it still does depress me at times. The fact that I'm 31 and living with my mom. So I just eat to forget about it and not think about it. But that's what's killing me. By my count, he's got three trays of lasagna Ooh, three, and a seemingly three endless lasagna. supply of sauces and or soups, while Tammy and Leroy only have a single container apiece. Coming out of the basement is probably the hardest thing I do all day, so I usually only go up once. And then when I go back down, that's it for the day. After leaving his parents' basement and heading upstairs, Mike begins his day by ordering breakfast. Like a lot of breakfast. What can I do for you? I got a pretty big order, so the first one I'm gonna get the lumberjack slam pack. Uh, one of those ultimate omelets. Order the cinnamon roll pancakes. So will there be anything else? The double moons over my hammy sandwich, and then to drink I want. I want, I want two chocolate milks. If that sounds like a huge order, Damn. that's because it is. Take a that's look a at all of, of it breakfast. laid out on the counter. Yeah! Chinese tonight. His mother and father bring him back some Chinese food for dinner at the end of the day. As you'd expect from a man that can eat that much breakfast, he has a little bit more for dinner than his parents do. When it comes to food, it's Does he my just sit there and wait for the next addiction. meal? Because he only goes Most up of the once. entries on this list are about the quality of food being eaten rather than the food itself. Bianca throws a wrench into that with her dinner plans. But let's start with breakfast. Baby, there's some more pancakes left? No, no, hell no, ain't no more. You ain't getting no more. Mm. He's slow down. Slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what? Bianca lives with her boyfriend <laughs> Ramonte. Slow down, hell no, I ain't slowing down. Surgery a few years ago. Ramonte was able to keep his weight off. As you can see, it's normal enough breakfast, but that won't be the case for dinner. Mmm, butter bread. Ramonte is back on the stove making, well, I don't even know what you would call this. He starts by removing garlic bread from the oven and putting it at the bottom of the plate and pouring some spaghetti on top. Now I want a hot sauce with ranch. Apparently that's dinner. She seems to like it though, as they have two very full plates while her two children eat considerably less. There isn't a moment where I'm not craving something to eat. No matter what I'm facing, food will make it better. Nathan begins every day by making breakfast, and you can see that he's loaded up. When I'm eating, it's euphoric. It's like this feeling of relief from whatever negative emotion I have going on at that time. And so even though a meal like this will make me really full, I'll keep eating and eating. The former theater teacher makes two whopping plates loaded with sausage, biscuits, eggs, and bacon. Hey. Hey. Thank you for picking up the food. A lot of Welcome. food. His wife, Amber, brings that looks home good too. takeout for dinner, <laughs> which isn't time. bad on its own. But she does talk about how much his eating habits disgust her. He would eat his food. He would eat an appetizer. We would have a dessert. He would eat my leftovers, and it would make me just absolutely right, she disgusted. She's disgusted by him. She looked just as big. decided he didn't want to try and lose weight anymore. I told him I was disgusted with what he was doing, and I basically told him he was an embarrassment. Listening to how he normally eats is easily enough to she's justify part of the program, but she's list. disgusted with him. Well, uh. that's all we have for this time. We've talked about a lot of crazy meals and eating habits today, but we need to scrape the surface of all <laughs> wow. there is to discuss. That last one, man, that, time, that kind of frustrated Shepard, me because she sounded like she was just a big part of the problem. Also, enabler. Also pretty large herself and she was saying how much she was disgusted by him i mean i understand some tough love i've dished out some tough love on this channel before but you don't tell someone you're disgusted by them when you're just as big and having just as much of an eating problem um <laughs> yeah a, a lot of these clips are the same as you know just any other person on, on the show just how much they eat before surgery um, it's just a, a, a ridiculous amount of food and I, I've totally been there you know I've shared some of my food stories before but the saddest ones are, are the ones where you know they, they talk about they know that they're dying they know that they don't have much time left they know they're killing themselves 
but they just can't stop because the food that they're eating is sort of like their best friend. It's it's their biggest joy of the day. You know, they get peace from it. And from a few videos ago, it's it's a warm hug to them. And so, you know, they're willing to continue killing themselves and eating these large amounts of food just to make themselves feel good. And it's the only part of the day that, you know, like that one guy comes out of the basement once a day and he, he, he's there to eat. Let's be frank. He's not there to do anything else. He's probably not working. He's probably doesn't have anything else going on in his life, but he's there to eat. And, you know, when you get so big that you can't move around very much and you almost become bed bound, that's the only thing you look forward to is your first meal of the day. And which is usually sometimes your largest meal of the day because you've gone since last night since eating. So, you know, that that's that's what he's living for is his food, his next meal. And, you know, when you eat breakfast and it's a huge breakfast and you're already you can't wait for lunch. Again, I've been there. I'm not making fun of these people. I've been there. So... You know, it's, you just can't wait for lunch. It's like, come on, noon, come on, noon. It's, it's like, you're just rooting for, for noon to come so, so that you can eat again. And then the the worst wait is sometimes from noon to dinner time. Like there was times when, when I was dieting where I would eat at two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon and my friends would make fun of me. It's like, you're an old man, you're eating dinner so early. <laughs> it's, it's like, I, I just couldn't wait to six, seven, eight o'clock at night to eat dinner. Um, it, it was very hard to do, but when I got onto a, you know, my, my pre-op diet where I was eating my lean cuisine, I tried to stick to that time, but it was hard to do. It was like I was having two shakes and then so by three o'clock I was having my lean cuisine dinner because it, it, was, it was hard to maintain that. So after dinner, um, you know, I'd, I'd find something that I could eat that was healthy, but yeah, I just always had an earlier dinner because I could not wait from noon to, to dinner time to eat. And, and now I, I eat much later than I, I used to. So, you know, when you have weight loss surgery, it dramatically dampens down your appetite. So you're not eating so much and you don't need to eat so much. And so I don't have a problem waiting later to eat dinner. But uh, anyways, that was the video for today. I hope you're having a great Sunday so far. If you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. If you could like this video, leave a comment. I'd greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. God bless you.